this class we can study about indian systems of medicine mainly it includes six systems ayurveda yoga unani siddha naturopathy and homeopathy all together it is known as ayush at present there are 4095 ayush hospitals and 27951 dispensaries and 8 lakh registered practitioners in india okay then this indian system uh, system of medicine is very effective in solving our healthcare problems and they are also inexpensive then indicators of health and health infrastructure okay economists state that there is a greater scope for the role of governments and government in the health sector in india the government expenditure in the health sector is very low compared to other developed and developing countries a study shows that about 17 percentage of the world population has frightening 20 percentage of global burden diseases means it is a indicator which expert used to measure the number of people dying prematurely due to particular disease as well as number of years spent on them in a state of disability this one uh, global burden disease okay in our country every year approximately 5 lakh of children die of water borne diseases and uh, uh, we know nearly 2.2 uh, million children die due to mal malnutrition then here you can see some rural and urban health dev infrastructure okay 70 percentage of population live in rural areas but only 20 percentage of hospitals and dispensaries are located in rural area we know near to 70 percentage of population are live in uh, rural area but only 20 percentage hospital facility is there in rural areas about 11% of birds for in patients are available in rural areas and the remaining portion is concentrated in urban areas hence the rural people are not having sufficient medical infrastructure in few state there are very less hospitals available per lack of people living in rural areas people living in rural areas do not have access to specified medical facilities like pediatrics gynecology anesthesia etc in india there are 165 recognized practitioners recognized medical colleges which produces 1000 uh, 12000 medical graduate every year but still the hospitals in rural areas are running shortage of doctors okay then in rural areas very less practitioners are there in rural areas when the poor people fall sick many times they would sell their lands or pledge their property or uh, jewelry to pay for treatment since government run hospitals lack high tech facilities the poor people will have no choice but go for private hospitals where the cost of treatment is so high that the poor people will become indebted for ever okay that is the problem uh, in rural areas then about the women's health women constitute about half of the total population in our country indian women have many disadvantages compared to men in the areas of education healthcare and employment opportunities the uh, here you can see the child sex ratio 
in the country it is 927 in in 2001 to 919 in 2011 okay 5% of girls aged between 15 to 19 years are not only really married but have already born children at least once okay that is the problem in our country child marriage means uh, child marriage then uh, married woman facing nutritional anemia iron deficiency then maternal deaths these are the main problems in our country health it is a vital public good and a basic human right okay then health is a human right okay it is necessary to create awareness of health personal hygiene provide efficient system telecom it then these are the important factor we know telecom it sector plays an important role in creating awareness we know now we have social medias and uh, we have internet facilities and everything through that one we can we can give messages to people or we can make aware of people okay it is therefore it is therefore critical to cre create awareness on health and hygiene to provide efficient system okay then basic health infrastructure should be made easily accessible and affordable to all the people okay that is the important factor then there is a sharp divide between urban and rural healthcare in india okay if we continue to ignore this deepening divide we run the risk of establishing socio-economic fabric in our country in order to provide basic health care to all we need to increase the health infrastructure facility then infrastructure both economic and social is essential for the development as a support system it directly influences all economic activities by increasing the productivity of the factors of production and improving the quality of life okay in in the last seven decades of independence india has made considerable progress in health infrastructure then there is lot of changes in this area we know in health also or in energy in everywhere in infrastructure plays an important role in the development of a country adequate in infrastructure increases the productivity of factors of production like uh, especially we know like electricity then like that facilities increasing hospital facilities telecommunication facilities schools and hospital like that facilities are in increasing as india moves towards modernization the increase in demand for quality infrastructure keeping in view their environmental impact will have to be addressed the reform policies by providing various concession and incentives aim at attracting the private sector in general and foreign investors in particular then energy and health is an important factor in development and we need to give importance for these factors then in this lesson we studied infrastructure plays an important role in economic and social development that is the important point then it's necessary to upgrade the infrastructure from time to time to maintain high economic growth rate okay then we need to provide proper infrastructure okay adequate infrastructural facilities have attracted more foreign investment and tourism in india recently then synchronization between public and private sector is required to bring huge fund in infrastructural development improved health contributes economic growth after the independence there has been a remarkable progress in providing health services public health system and facilities are unable to provide for the huge population of our country 
women's health is an important concern in our country natural system of medicine has to be developed then energy is very important it have a vital role overall growth of the country depends on the development of rural infrastructure then chapter 8 over 